That is brave. Come on, Dad! I don't know. That used to, but I don't know if it's running well enough to keep doing it. He signaled me to split lanes and then he gave up like halfway. <laughs> He's stuck back there now. Together again. He's a little too timid with that. This is like uh, probably a good lesson for any of you other newer riders. If you're going to lane split, it's best to commit to it. Don't go crazy. Don't be reckless or careless with it. But, you know, filter all the way to the front. Try not to stop in the middle of traffic. Like, it's safer for you to get to the front and take off and get out ahead of traffic than it is to kind of get stuck in the middle of traffic while it's getting started from a stop. I was thinking about doing a wheelie right there, realized I was right next to a California Highway Patrol station. Decided not to do the wheelie. Looks like we're gonna cruise through a little bit of the old stomping grounds. This is where I used to live years ago and where I actually grew up. Uh, we used to live in a condo off of this street right here. And I'll point it out when we go by there. But yeah, we lived there for uh, decades, actually. Since I was born, we lived in this place, and we stayed there until after I graduated college. That's when my parents finally moved out of there. So this building right here, the red roof and the green wood on it, it was uh, not a bad place to live. I mean, you share walls with other tenants, but uh, all of our neighbors, luckily, were pretty chill. There was one period of time where we lived next to some lady who had like a, a yappy chihuahua. But other than that, it was a good experience, chill place to live, really good neighborhood. I used to walk to school and like probably never once did I ever run into any like unsavory people or sketchy situations. There was a homeless guy who used to live on this corner right here and uh, I worked at a spot near here too. It used to be a photo lab back when uh, most of you guys probably can't even remember this but uh, back in the day when cameras had film in them I worked at a photo lab. It was my first uh, high school job and uh, whatchamacallit like the owner was a real uh, which I'm a, uh, what's that word? He was a charity giver. Starts with a P. Anyways, he used to like always want to like help this guy out and, or like give him money or give him food or something. And this dude was just like, he, he wasn't having it. He wouldn't take it. He wouldn't take handouts. We would like leave food out for him and he would just like ignore it. It would just like, he, he would give it back or he, he'd just throw it away or something. He wanted to be self-sufficient. It's kind of crazy. So. Even the homeless people in our neighborhood were like super honorable and chill and kind of like not crazy like shouting at you kind of homeless people. Oh, thanks, Dad. He waited for me. He forgot his turn signal is on. Your turn signal. Your turn signal. You left your turn signal on.